Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Kulecha and I welcome you. In this video, I am going to share some of my learnings on how to overcome anger. So anger is an extremely uh, negative emotion, a klesh, uh, in Pali word, the word for it is klesh, a defilement, a mental defilement. Uh, there is a separate video that I have made on Buddha's teachings on anger. So Buddha has very categorically said that if you cannot give up anger, you will not be able to give up suffering. And anger is something that takes beings into lower realms, even, you know, if intense, uh, if uh, anger has, you know, led you to do certain things, certain unwholesome things, then it can even lead you to the, you know, the very intense uh, realms of intense suffering, uh, hell realms, right? So that is how important it is for all of us to work on our anger and come out of anger, right? By following Buddha's path. So you can check my detailed video on Buddha's teachings on anger to get a perspective on what Buddha said on anger. In this video, what I'm trying to do is that I'm, uh, uh, from my personal experience, uh, uh, dealing with my own anger issues uh, uh, in uh, my youth and, uh, you know, coming out of it through regular meditation practice, I am like sharing some of my perspectives, some practical ideas on how we can, you know, deal with anger and come out of it, right? So... Okay, so basically uh, there are two ways, you know, to approach this particular situation uh, uh, that, you know, so if at all, you know, what is anger? Anger is basically uh, the deep patterns that is that are there in our unconscious mind, the grooves in our unconscious mind. And these patterns, they come up in the on the surface in the conscious mind from time to time. They arise and, uh, you know, the trigger for this is mostly the object outside that's, you know, someone not doing his job, his job properly. Yeah, or someone who uh, says something negative to us. So what basically happens is that uh, when we are not mindful, when uh, uh, our mindfulness is not very strong, then we just, you know, cling to that particular, you know, object which is outside. And, you know, the latent defilements of anger which are there in us, they arise in us consciously. And then how they manifest is that we may have thoughts of negative thoughts about that person in our mind we may speak harsh words or with uh, to that person or we may uh, uh, you know um, uh, uh, take unwholesome actions through the body that is some violence right and in the worst form we may you know kill that person or we may you know murder that person which is like creating which will create un, a humongous amount of unwholesome karma right so this is how anger you know manifests in the various ways so uh, so there are basically two approaches, you know, how to, you know, deal with this thing. One is uh, the changes in our daily routine, right? Uh, see, anger is an energy, right? From time to time, it will arise in, in, in us, right? Those defilements will arise. So the more, and the second thing is that when anger arises, how to deal with it. But the more important thing is to make the change in the daily routine. Why? Because, see... Think of it as like, you know, you have a certain spiritual reserve to deal with anger, the energy of anger. You cannot fight with the energy of anger. You can only develop the energy of mindfulness in you that much that when anger strikes, when you have an object in front of you which gives you anger, you do not become mindless and, you know, uh, lose yourself in your anger. You are able to witness the anger as it is arising and falling. For that, you need that reserve of mindfulness. The energy of mindfulness. For generating that energy of mindfulness, you need a daily practice. If you don't do a daily practice, if you don't do any meditation, if you don't practice mindfulness, then what will happen is that when anger arises, then you will lose everything. You will maybe, you know, speak harsh words or commit some wrong acts and then you will repent that I should not have done because then the storm comes and you are swept away by the storm. So the, the important thing is to change our routine and, and you know, generate the energy of mindfulness and then when anger arises, then also there are certain steps. So, I will cover both things. So, the first daily routine change. I have just made certain points so that I do not miss track. So, first thing what you have to do is build a daily meditation practice, right? Build a daily meditation practice, 10 minutes morning, 10 minutes evening. Start with that, right? And what, what meditation to practice? Practice insight meditation, which is Vipassana meditation. I have made a separate video on what is insight meditation and how to practice it. You can watch that video. I will make more videos on insight meditation, right? So, practice the meditation morning and evening, right? Uh, and start with that, right? So, what that meditation will do, it will it will act as a booster dose to your mindfulness throughout the day. It will be a, like a, 
you know it will boost your energy of mindfulness for the entire day morning evening start with 10 minutes and then increase 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 for by 5 5 minutes increments right okay second practice more and more mindfulness of your thoughts of your feelings keep noting so what is insight in meditation i practice in the tradition of mahasi sadao uh, so mahasi said that what basically you have to do is that keep noting whatever is arising pleasant feelings are arising keep noting them pleasant feelings with anger is arising anger anger keep noting movements of body thoughts feelings emotions right this is directly based on the satipatthana sutra which was given by the buddha the four foundations the four abidings of mindfulness right so become more and more aware of your thoughts feelings body sensations movements of the body you know everything of your mind what kind of feelings arise what kind of thoughts arise now right so become more and more mindful right okay third thing is practice loving kindness meditation so if you have lot of anger issues then it is very helpful if you can practice loving kindness which is meta meditation also you can find meta meditation or loving kindness meditation on youtube lot of you know guided meditation videos are there i will also try to post a guided meditation on uh, loving kindness so that is a very very helpful thing very very helpful thing in case of anger issues if you want to practice anger uh, you know healing your anger issues maybe do 3 months you know meta meditation every day loving loving kindness meditation and see the change in you fourth diet changes see try to move towards a diet which is be mindful of what you are ingesting not only in terms of food but also in terms of sense impressions so diet ensure that what you are you know eating is not very oily not very spicy because it creates a lot of rajas in the body lot of thoughts lot of anger can get created so make changes in your diet make it to towards more sattvic diet which is more green leafy vegetables no, no animal diet no animal food only plant based diet more vegan diet so you can make that change that uh, experiment you can do and that is one thing you can do also try to avoid any violent movies violent films violent stuff on you know tv and all right because that violence basically feeds the violence that is there in you so try to be more mindful in terms of what are the food you know that you are ingesting fifth come in buddha's teachings see one thing i can personally say from you know from my own experiences uh, you know as i have come in buddha's teaching and i study the discourses and i am studying the teachings there is certain level of you know purity that happens has started happening in me right because of the you know when you read the sutras when you read the the pure stuff some changes happen somewhere inside you you know you are basically you know enriching the the qualities of you know uh, the dharma that is there in you see every criminal the worst criminal also has the seeds of compassion and kindness only he has not nurtured so what we have to do is that one has to we have to follow the path of the buddha and also we have to study the buddha's path so i have made a detailed video on beginner's guide to buddha's teachings so you can check that video i have made us like a full seven live sessions i did on the buddha's core teaching so you can check that a whole playlist all that is the links are given in the description so you can check that start practicing you know come in buddha's teachings come on the buddha's path right if you are watching this video till now you know i mean and and uh i i urge you you know that you just come on the path buddha has given us a very very clear path what is anger anger is suffering right we know through our anger we create suffering not only for ourselves but all for but for people around us so buddha has given a clear path on how to come out of anger that is the you know the thing that prompted him to you know uh, leave for the you know you know secluded life find out the solution and buddha gives the solution buddha gives the medicines to us now it is upon us whether we take the medicine or not right so come in buddha's teachings sixth reflect on anger suffering what caused it it reality of your anger reflect on this anger that you have what you can do is that you know what problem is that we do not look deeply into our anger we just are mindless we become angry and you know it all the cycle goes on till the time our consciousness becomes bit more refined where we can actually see what the anger is doing the damage to us and even when we look deeply we can even check out that there are causes of this anger which is coming from our ancestral line which are coming from our past lives we can see that our anger is the same as the anger that we had you know of our parents anger 
so that same anger is being passed on generation to generation through us and will go down the line our line if we do not heal them right so start looking deeply into your anger what is the suffering that it is causing to you and your you know people around you the impact the implications the karmic implications that that will, will cause the suffering it will cause the more we reflect on this the more we are you know we can free ourselves from these the chains of these anger you can do journaling also journaling is also a very good thing start journaling on your this anger problem every day just you know what is the progress where is your anger did you get how 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 angry you were today just do an internal weather check and not only at the time of journaling from the time to time throughout the day do an internal weather check what is the you know internal weather that i have right now right so that you can check then uh, seventh point is that don't go in guilt right see this is you know what happens is after you become angry then you go in guilt don't go in guilt right see these are patterns that you know it's not our own making yes definitely we have we might, might have strengthened it in through our past lives by being unconscious but lot of times it also passes down the ancestral line so don't be go into guilt just see it arising and falling something that is arisen something that is fallen practice more and more patience and self love that in spite of my anger i love myself right that should be your approach love yourself more and more send love to yourself your body your mind right you are suffering because of your anger so at least send love to your body right okay and turn anger into a spiritual practice take it this anger that you have as a motivation for your spiritual practice right okay now we come to when anger strikes exactly at that time when anger strikes what you can do now buddha has given five ways on dealing with any negative thoughts on stopping any negative thoughts i have covered them in a separate video the link of that video is in there in the description you can check that video but i am just summarizing here what five things you can do number one focus on some other subject which is something skillful so anger is something which is in unskillful just switch your thinking to something which is skillful second examine the drawbacks you know the reflect which is the reflection on these thoughts this anger you know examine the drawbacks of these thoughts they will make you come out of this anger third try to forget just ignore you know wash off dust off these thoughts of the anger from your mind right fourth is stop the formation even if anger is there do anything else distract yourself but stop the formation of thought thoughts what happens generally is that when we remain in anger the anger keeps rising in us it's like we are giving that anger the energy and it keeps boiling it's like a milk that is boiling so what we do is that when the milk gets boiled you no know, to prevent it from boiling we just turn off the heat so just turn off the heat stop the formation of those thoughts fifth and if no one nothing works buddha says with teeth clenched and tongues pressed against the roof of the mouth they should squeeze squash and crush the mind with mind use the power of your mind the strength of your mind to crush these thoughts that's it's like suppress these thoughts this is the last and final step right okay some other tips is that you know when anger is arising become aware of the sensations in your body you know the heat that rises in your body now you will be able to do that only and only when you practice mindfulness of your body in your day to day life if you don't practice that then when anger strikes don't expect it's like uh, you know when you are thirsty you expect to you know dig a you know a, a, a pond and then you know take out the water from it so that don't it will not work like that right you have to first dig the pond and then when you are thirsty you will get the water right so that's why practice daily practice is much more important and it takes years of effort for me my own anger it has taken me years and years of continuous self work continuous effort and today when people meet me and they say oh we don't you know you you were an angry and short tempered person we don't believe that so that coming from that to this so i'm not saying that my anger is completely gone it's still there but it's very reduced as compared to what i was like maybe 15 years back but that effort that you know I, we have to do on a daily basis uh, in our practice in our daily routine we need to make the changes then when anger strikes one is that be aware of the um sensations try not to speak because when you speak in your anger only the harsh words will come so you can practice mindful breathing you can bring your attention 
immediately when anger is there bring your attention to your belly and focus on the in and out movement of your belly what it does is that it shifts your focus from your mind where the anger is to your belly and when you focus on the in and out movement of your belly you generate the energy of mindfulness and that energy of mindfulness that generates in you will take care of the anger so that is what you can do practice mindful breathing which i explained just now and mindful or mindful walking so you are in a tense situation where there is anger you can just walk out of that room take a break take a walk in fresh air and when you walk just walk fully mindfully right the left step right step left step right step just walk for like this for 5 to 10 minutes you you will get cooled down right so that you can do send compassion send compassion to that person right so if you have anger towards a person instead of cursing never curse anyone the curse will come back to you right maybe in this life in some other life never curse send compassion send compassion and well being to that person right so don't you know we stop as we mature in our practice we stop you know blaming others for you know things we we look within us our whole purpose is looking within what is happening within me right okay so this is it uh, i hope these some of the tips are helpful to you uh, and do share your reflections your thoughts your tips what helps you uh, in 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 controlling and in overcoming your anger uh, do share your thoughts and reflections in the comment section uh, thank you so much for watching this video namo buddhaye namo buddhaye